spiritual life coach and author Iyanla Van Zant recently stopped by. Take a look. Our next guest needs no introduction. She's a New York Times best-selling author, a legendary life coach, and host of the hit series, Iyanla Fix My Life. And she's here today to discuss her powerful new book, Forgiveness, 21 Days to Forgive Everyone for Everything. Mm. Wow. Welcome, Iyanla Van Zandt. Thank you. It How is are you? such an honor to have you oh, here. It's my Thank pleasure. you so much for being Thank here. Thank you for having me. So 21 days to right. forgive everyone. Anyone? <laughs> <laughs> Anyone, yeah. Okay. Anyone. Because uh, the, the work that you're going to do in this book, whether you write it or whether you do what I introduce in the book as tapping or the EFT process or whether you just listen to the affirmations, it's going to clean you up. We always think that forgiveness is for the other person when the truth is it's for you. So, yeah, 21 days. 21 days. Now, you write that forgiveness can, quote, liberate minds and hearts once held captive by anger, bitterness, resentment, and fear. Mm -hmm. If that's indeed the case, why do we hold on to the anger and the bitterness? Well, very often we want to be right mm -hmm. about how wrong they were. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, it just I just want to be right. Mm -hmm. And until they apologize or until uh, something changes, I see some change in them, I'm going to hold on to the upset. And, and what I talk about in here is you can't unsee what you've seen. You can't unhear what you've heard. Mm. You can't unexperience what you've experienced. But what you can do is shift your perspective of it and use the experience to grow and heal as opposed to just stay mad. Mm. Well, you make it sound so easy, but you, many people have held on and nursed these grudges for years. Some have even forgotten why they're mad that's at some right, people. Right. <laughs> so how are we supposed to forgive, forget, let go, do all this healing in only 21 days? That's why I, Less introduce, than three weeks. <laughs> that's why I introduce the process of a uh, progressive emotional freedom technique, mm -hmm. which is like needleless acupuncture. And what tapping does is it moves Needle, energy. Needleless, acu needleless okay. acupuncture. So That's free. So we don't free. need the needles in our face. It's free okay. because you do it for yourself. You're literally just Healing touching your... Touching various places, uh, meridians oh. on the body okay. that hold energy. It's all energy. Every thought is an energy. Every emotion is an energy. So when you learn how to tap it out, you okay, can but, move it okay, When you body. say tap it out, are we saying, oh, I'm mad right now, let me get to tap it? Yes, you can do that. <laughs> yeah, I'm really angry right now. I'm really, really, really? angry. Oh. I'm really angry because what we're doing is we're moving oh. the energy attached to the words. Wow. So even, I don't want to forgive you. Mm -hmm. I don't want to forgive Boo Boo for leaving me and mm -hmm. rejecting me. When you start moving the energy, you'll start to feel different, you'll start to think different. So in forgiveness, you can write the exercise, you can tap the exercise, there's a CD so you can listen to the exercise. Mm -hmm. My goal is to get it clean in 2014. We have to clean up our minds, we have to clean up our hearts, we have to clean up our communities mm -hmm. because our children are dying yeah. and we are not doing world well on the world scale. We're mm -hmm. not doing well. What inspired you to write a book about forgiveness? Being pissed off for so long. Oh. <laughs> well, that'll do it. That'll That's do one it. way. Yeah. You know what? And I didn't even know. You know, my mother, my birth mother died when I was three, and everybody forgot to tell me. Nobody bothered mm -hmm. to tell me. So I grew up thinking one woman was my mother who wasn't. Mm -hmm. And at 30, I found out. And then at 40, I realized how really angry and hurt and sad and bitter I had been about all of that. And the only way, I mean, I couldn't talk enough, I couldn't do enough therapy, I couldn't eat enough, I couldn't, do, I couldn't get rid of it. Mm -hmm. Forgiveness wiped the slate clean. So it's mm -hmm. better than all the self-medicating that you were doing before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And who did and, you have to forgive first? Myself. Mm. Myself for believing that anything should have been any different. Because if anything had been any different in my life, I wouldn't be who I am today. Mm. I had to forgive myself first. Day one, forgive yourself. But isn't that often the hardest thing to do? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Because we think we're justified in our anger and our upset and our sh whatever it is. So until we forgive, and what we're doing in, in forgiveness is we're not forgiving ourselves per se. We're forgiving our thoughts, our beliefs, our judgments, and our feelings, because every experience has that, a thought, a belief, a judgment, and a feeling. So when we start moving that, when we start tapping that out, when we start hearing that differently, 
the energy frees up in our body for us to do better wow. things. Well, in your book, you write about the mind being like a puppy. Mm -hmm. Yes. And a puppy will run all over the yeah, place. Yeah, will hump your guests. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you train it to do otherwise. Yeah, have you ever had that? It's a little yeah, embarrassing. Yeah, I've been there, right. Yeah, right. So, so what happens just, when you don't train the, the puppy, the It mind? runs all over. It eats your socks. It humps your guests. It chews the ends off your furniture. It pees on the carpet. So you, you think of the mind like a little puppy, and you've uh -huh. got to train it. The mind can be trained to believe good things, to create good things, to do good things. If not, well then, don't have guests over. Right. So, okay, so give us some basic steps on training our mind. Fix our lives. How can we train our minds? Five minutes of silence. Five Ooh. minutes? Do you know five how minutes. hard that is that for is... most people to do in the social media world? Yeah, five minutes of silence. Oh, yama. A silence means Can we no start with sound. one minute? Right. You can start with <laughs> Ten can seconds. Start can with we... three. Okay. You can start with three. Three, but, that's a good compromise. See, it, right. it, it doesn't have to be easy because you, you, you've got to push beyond your limits. Mm -hmm. So you can do tweeting for ten minutes, but can mm -hmm. you put the phone down, put the, uh, turn everything off and sit and listen to your breath for three minutes. Mm. That's the first thing to training the mind okay. is to still it, to keep it from moving all over the place. It's like meditation. Yeah, mm. absolutely. Okay, what's the second thing? We've done the three minutes. Okay, okay. we're working your way, working your <laughs> right. way up to five. Uh -huh. You've done the three minutes. Um, I think the next thing would be to be able to hold a positive thought for three minutes. So, mm -hmm. for example, now that the mind is still, now we're going to plant a seed, mm -hmm. joy, joy, okay. joy, joy. I'm just going to think love mm -hmm. for 10 minutes, for three minutes. Let's do three. We'll go to five, then mm -hmm. seven, then 10. We want to get up to 45. 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. And it's all about that self-empowerment of whatever feelings you want to instill in yourself. Wait, wait, wait. I'm stuck right? on 40, <laughs> uh, 45 minutes of stillness a I'm, week? A day. A day. A, a day. Wow. wow. But you know, what's sad is that we would think that that's odd or unusual. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, Iyanla, you make a good point because many of us during the new year resolve to eat better, that's to right. work out, to put that's 45 right. minutes on the treadmill, treadmill every day. That's right. But you argue that spiritual and emotional workouts are just as important. Mm -hmm. M many of us have, are, are, are dealing with spiritual flab and mm -hmm. spiritual unfitness. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh, in, out here we're looking great, but inside, you know, we're a, just a disaster. So I would say, yeah, 45 minutes of stillness and silence of being in touch with you and being in touch with you. Because mm -hmm. once you can get in touch with you, suppose for three minutes all you did was breathe and then say, I forgive. Mm -hmm. Don't even put a name or a face or an, or an event on it. I forgive, I forgive, I forgive. Mm -hmm. I forgive everyone for everything. I just forgive, I forgive. And begin to train that puppy mind to, you know, instead of being mad and angry and honking at people when they cut you off and do all kind of weird mm. things, just say, oh, I forgive that. Now I'm going to deal with you differently, but I forgive it. Isn't there something sort of twisted about humanity where we also feel good about the grudges? Oh, yeah. Mm. They sort of, we When we find, measure them. We I them. saw her in the supermarket mm -hmm. and she tried to speak to me. I'm not going to speak to her. Mm -hmm. Well, that's very helpful. That's like saying, <laughs> that's like saying, I'll show you, I'll mm -hmm. hold my breath till I turn purple and die. Mm -hmm. I'll show you how much you hurt me, mm -hmm. how hurt I am, how you disempowered me. I'll show you, I'll stay angry. I'll keep giving you my life mm -hmm. and my time and my energy. I'll show you, I'll hold it against you mm -hmm. until it just poisons me. I'll right. show you. Doing more harm to yourself yeah. than the other person. Yeah. Is that a lot to do with your terminology, a neck down dead? Yes, neck down do? dead. Oh, Explain so that many to people us. are neck dead, meaning there's no feeling. They mm -hmm. think about what they feel, they hold the thoughts, the thoughts make them angry, the thought makes them sad, the thought makes them feel good, and from here down, they're dead. Neck down dead, walking around, afraid to feel, won't feel, and very often for many of us, it's because of hurt or sadness or whatever. Very often, sexual abuse victims, neck down dead. Mm. They won't allow themselves to feel in fear that the feelings will overwhelm them. And then there are those people that make the choice. Well, because Boo Boo hurt you back in 56, now you're not gonna open your heart to anybody, so you neck down dead, just walking around, neck down dead. Mm. <laughs>
How do we jumpstart that and make mm -hmm. sure that we're alive from head to toe? Breathe. 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 <laughs> That's the distinction between us and those who are on the living on the other side. And we <clears throat> don't know how to breathe. Imagine, as soon as you hear bad news, <gasps> Yeah. As soon as something happened, oh, we stopped breathing. So your toe hasn't had some oxygen since that, <laughs> you know, when, when bunnies didn't have toes. tails, you know. Yeah. So we want to learn how to breathe. You, you've got to learn how to breathe, still a mind, implant good things, listen to good things. You know, I, I got up at 540 this morning, mm -hmm. and from 540 to 715, I got so engrossed in my reading. I have my things that I read daily, my mm -hmm. Bible, my Course in Miracles, my Ernest Holmes. You know, so I'm starting my day. It's going to take a lot to really take me into the ugliness that I harbor in my armpit, because I got mm. some ugliness. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so up all, under here. It's in right. your armpit. Uh -huh. Yeah, so, so you have to really be doing something for me to lift my arm up and get that <laughs> ugly out on you. <laughs> start, start the day off on the right track. Yeah, but most okay. people wear their ugliness right here. Right. <laughs> you know, and you just do one thing. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> So, but you're um, like, mm -hmm. yeah, you, you know, I'm, I'm thinking about it before <laughs> okay. I get it up. And, and that's what forgiveness does. Mm -hmm. Doesn't mean that now you're going to float and walk on water mm -hmm. and, you know, bless the bees when they sting in you. Mm -hmm. but it just means that. And it has to start with yourself. Forgive yourself first and forgive then you. begin to forgive others. Can't give what you don't it. have. All right, that's great advice. And we got so much more, but we have to take a break first. So okay. don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more Ian Levanzani.